नमस्कार मी आनंद गानो आय वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ गरजे मराठी ग्लोबल फर्स्ट अँड फॉरमोस्ट आय वॉन्ट टू थँक रेणुका केळकर अँड अर टीम फॉर टेकिंग अप सच अ नोबेल कॉज अँड द दिस इज द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ गरजे मराठी गरजे मराठी हॅज बीन फॉर्म विथ द बेसिक पर्पज ऑफ शेअरिंग नॉलेज and building comradeship and building a network uh, this program is possible this today's program is become possible thanks to ravindra gargey and renuka and her team uh, ravindra gargey heads garje marathi's uk chapter i request uh, ravindra to take over the brains and formally start the program yeah over to ravindra gargey thanks anand thanks Uh, so welcome on behalf of garja marathi global uk chapter i am ravindra gargey based in milton keynes in uk uh, volunteer for garja marathi global uk chapter uh, we have started uh, working with anand ganu sir for last 4 5 years and we have uh, recently we started conducting such uh, workshops or seminars or informative sessions on various topics we started with ai mentoring program we are going to plan one on biotech and now this is the one for uh, mobile application development uh, using um, flutter now i don't know anything about this but i'm just <laughs> repeating the words what i hear uh, saw on the fly- uh, flyer uh, renuka kekar has kindly agreed with her team to conduct this two day session today one hour and tomorrow one hour and what we will do is uh, please uh, remain on mute throughout the session you will be given an opportunity towards the end to um, ask the questions now if we run out of time today tomorrow definitely we may able to extend the time beyond uh, one hour to uh, uh, answer your queries questions uh, so i think we'll start with uh, renuka over to you renuka yeah let me share my screen uh, just a minute renuka can you can you give short introduction about your institution yeah, yeah. and yeah, start yeah. with yeah, just, what yeah. you do yeah. So namaskar namaskar sagarna uh, i am renuka kelkar uh, i am from uk uh, um, i am a basically a freelance uh, mobile app developer i am a founder of the tech power girls community and uh, currently i am as a gdg google developer group lead for the flutter for the london so uh, thanks to uh, anand ganu ji sir and uh, ravindra ji sir so for to giving me this such so chance to share our knowledge to with all of you and thanks to everyone who joined this uh, session with us uh, we hopefully uh, you learn a lot from from this session so uh, i would like to say some words about the tech power girls uh, basically uh, tech power girls uh, who we are so tech power girls are the community to empower the moms who are having 5 plus years of gap of in it career so basically we started with uh, with the to empower the women who are having 5 plus year of gap but we are getting a really good successful response for this initiative so now we are started giving the workshop for the students and other peoples in uh, in that way that we can share our uh, knowledge our basic motto is that we learn together and grow together so in this uh, in this community we normally do the affordable workshop for everyone we do the one to one mentoring uh, for their complete learning journey and what is the basic problem uh, we have find out that uh, nowadays everyone is on the online uh, learning everything online but sometimes we stuck some places like uh, we do follow some tutorials we do follow some courses and we stuck somewhere and that time we need some mentoring so that gap we want to fill that gap and that's why we have started this initiative uh, we help the people uh, to create their portfolio so they get ready to the job market and uh, we help them to how to use the social media wisely to showcase their uh, talent on the on the all the social media platform so this is little bit about the tech parkers so today's session is all about the flutter so first thing is that the flutter what is a flutter is this a programming language or what so people now the now the people now the flutter is uh, trending a lot so flutter is a open source mobile ui framework created by the google so the in a short word i will say that using a flutter 
you can use a single code base and to develop the android and uh, ios and web apps with the single uh, base single code basically so this is a small introduction about the flutter uh, then uh, why should we learn the flutter because there are so many competitors in the industry uh, there are different different softwares and different different programming language are there so why we should learn the flutter so first thing is that flutter is very simple to learn and use second is a very quick ui development and the development process is very quick rather than to go with any other like a react or any other uh, thing uh, and the community of the flutter is very strong and very helpful so uh, so if you stuck somewhere or you need any help so they are always ready to help and the last thing is that uh, we choose the flutter for the women empowering because uh, there are lots of lots of freelancing work available so this is some points why you should learn the flutter there are these are the some companies who already using the flutter there are more now uh, i haven't i don't have that much space to put all these here Renova, so one sec uh, uh, are everybody able to see the full presentation because i am not seeing the presentation oh, so are you sharing the screen yeah we can yeah, see she, we can yeah, see we can see fine 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 if everybody see. See, that's fine yeah. everybody we can yeah. see yeah we can see yeah okay okay yeah. so just let me know if you can't because i can't see anyone here because when i share the screen i can't see anyone's uh, any chat or anything here so please let me know if you can't see anything so these are the some companies uh, they are using the flutter there are more but i just put it some of the companies here then uh, flutter is everywhere so you can develop the mobile app you can develop the web app you can develop the desktop app with the flutter and now the mobile uh, em because embedded system like uh, you can use the flutter to develop the cars uh, software or displaying system or something so you can use the flutter everywhere so so i will give you the little bit brief of this workshop so we are taking this workshop today and tomorrow uh, we are today we are covering the two apps like a greeting card app on portfolio app and uh, tomorrow we will have the login page app so it will cover the basic of the flutter so using this knowledge you can develop some nice beautiful apps basically so let me uh, share uh, let me give some uh, some technical concept which we are going to use while we are doing the have, uh, live coding so first thing is that the types of widget so in in flutter everything is a widget so what is a widget widget is a, like a class uh, you created by yourself or there are some classes already defined in flutter so these are the classes or these are the types of widget are um, uh, they have divided in two categories like a stateful widget and stateless widget so basically stateful widget uh, in a in a simple word whenever there is a uh, any interaction going on in your page or in your app that place you are going to use a stateful widget like a radio button uh, then checkbox text field or button some kind of things but uh, if you are just using uh, there is no any interaction in your app it's just like a pure uh, pure ui then it is a stateless widget so these are the two types of the widgets we are going to use in our coding so let me introduce uh, first the, uh, the the android studio and we will start the coding and i will explain the one by one concept of the what is the material app or what is the what is the technical parts we are uh, doing with the flutter so let me share my screen uh, are you able to see my android studio screen yeah we can see the screen yeah, okay. yeah we can see okay thank you so so this is uh, today i'm going to use the android studio you can use vs code or intellij uh, whatever you like uh, so for to run the flutter you can use this kind of uh, uh, any id so i am using the flutter uh, android studio uh, in flutter uh, you if you go to the android studio then you have to create a new project like a new flutter project so i will create a new flutter project i have to give the name 
let's say waiting renuka are we supposed to do it simultaneously uh, uh we are sending giving the recording so no worries okay. Uh, okay. if they are not able to catch with me but we can send the recording and we can share the github link as well so that will help them and my team also sharing some discord uh, our group link uh, so if you need any help to installation of the flutter or the any other thing they can ask any queries there as well we will help them to support the whole whole learning thing basically so this is how i am creating a new document in a android studio it will take little bit time so just uh, bear with me so this is their default code when you uh, create any new document so first thing i would like to say that uh, whenever you create a new project please make sure you always uh, there is a option called the avd manager it is nothing but like a emulator or simulator if you are using ios so it is like look like this uh, so it is a virtual device where you can see whatever you are creating the output will be seen on your virtual device so please make sure first run the virtual device and then start uh, taking uh, checking the output okay so here are the some uh, some points uh, here is the run button when you have done your coding you can click on the run button and you can see your output on the screen so let me start with that uh, i will just uh, remove some code from the uh, uh, ready made uh, page let me delete some part we don't want this so let me delete some more thing so let me explain the thing i i know most of the people are uh, joining today's call is from the it background so you all know that uh, the void main is a starting point for to develop any application so this is a void main in that we are running the my app so my app is nothing but it is like a we have created the class like a class my app you can name it anything for that and we are running this so it will create the it will build the ui for you on your mobile or in, on your emulator so this is the function and then we are returning the new widget called the material app so what is a material app so i will just show you the presentation so what is a material app so material app is a, like a predefined class or predefined widget in a flutter it contains all the uh, all the needful uh, widgets which used for to the material design so if you know about little bit about the android we are normally use the android phone so you can see that there are some uh, typical same kind of design they are normally used when they have developed the mobile app for the android so these are the material uh, material design or uh, design for the android studio so these are the uh, some the, like a top portion is a same kind of thing or there is a floating action button at the right uh, right hand side bottom so all these things it's already predefined and if you want to use that that you can use the material app so that's why we are using here the material app then uh, then the in the material app we have the property called the home so in home we are creating our own class now that class is like a new widget and right now it is showing some error because we have it created that so let me create that uh, and it is a stateless widget because we are not doing any interaction here so start with the stateless widget if you click on the s it will prompt you the uh, different different options so i am using the stateless widget so i am just copying the same name and pasting here and here you go so it will like this if i run this app right now so you will see the blank screen i will show you
first time when the uh, project loads it takes little bit more time but after that uh, the flutter has introduced the hot reload and hot restart so that will give you the uh, fast uh, uh, fast getting the output you can see the output where it's very fast that is a plus point for the flutter If you have any question, then put it on the chat. Our team will can answer the question if you have anything. So, so meanwhile, I can I can show you the some more things from the what we are going to do. So next. Uh, let me present this. So the next thing is as a scaffold. So I will explain you when I do the coding. So scaffold is nothing but it is a giving the structure to the, your mobile app. So this is giving the whole structure like app bar and, and all this stuff. So we are getting the all widget from the material library. But now we are structuring that all the things together using the scaffold. So this is why the scaffold is there. Uh, let me see uh, if it is coming or not yet. So see, it is a blank screen. Now I am going to change this container with the scaffold. Let me... So this is a scaffold. Scaffold has so many properties. One is the app bar. So if I press the app bar, so all the properties start with the small letter and the, all the widget start with the capital letter. So you can differentiate with that. So app bar has a, uh, I'm calling the app bar widget inside the app bar property. Now in the app bar, there is a one more property called the title and title is having the text widget. So I will explain one by one, uh, let's say, uh, Waiting card. Okay, so let's see the output. Uh, I will open this and I did it. This is a, a hot reload button. If you just click there, you can see the greeting card. So this blue color and blue color is a default color, and the, uh, whatever you can see on the screen that is coming due to the scaffold. So let me see, uh, let me show you the next widget, what we are going to use. So uh, for the birthday card app, we are using, these are the some basic widget. So whenever you want to develop any app, you need this uh, five basic widget for to that. So first is a column, second is a row, container and text and image. So let me introduce one by one to you, so column. So whenever you see uh, any app, uh, which is a uh, vertically aligned means the all the objects or all the uh, widgets are vertically aligned that time you are using the column if you want to uh, if you want to do the widgets or or, or your content uh, horizontally aligned that time you are going to use the row widgets so it is very simple like uh, when you use a word or any other document so row and column the same concept they are using in flutter then the next thing is as a uh, is a container container is nothing but like a, it's a box it's a hollow box it doesn't have anything but it is having so many properties so you can give the height width color then you can give the some uh, you can specify the you want round shape corner or anything else so this is all about the container so I'm just showing you the uh, the widgets. I will explain when I will code it uh, in the uh, live coding. So the next is a text. So text is a normally in every other programming language is the same, like a string, right? So in a text widget, they also have some style property where you can style your text, like a, giving the font weight or size and color, all this stuff. So let me do that and create, a, there is a one more widget called the image. So image also where you want to use image in your app, you are going to use the image widget. So there are two types, one we will uh, cover one type today and one type tomorrow. So first is uh, we are using the network image. 
so uh, the the image dot network itself tell you that we are calling the image from the internet so you are just giving the path of the image and we are using that image in your app so the another one is the asset image that we will cover in the tomorrow session so this is the thing let's let's start to coding first uh, so i will show you which design we are going to code today so for the greeting card app we are just having the app bar which is having some color uh, which we are having already title then we are calling some image we are calling some text and we are aligning all the stuff vertically so that's why we are going to call the column so should we start with this let me know if it is getting so fast or something because i want to cover in one hour so please uh, feel free to put if you have any question or anything in the chat box so this app bar is done uh, but our color is not the same what we have seen our picture so let me change the color so in app bar also have a property called the background color so colors dot let's say pink so it will change the color now we want this greeting card app into the center so it will have the front property called the center title true so this is the way you can center it out now the next step is that the uh, the scaffold has a one property of app bar after the app bar we are calling the body and in the body because we want to align everything vertically so i am going to use the column widget so let me use the column and column is having the children so as many as widget or as many as element you can put it in the column so that's why it is having the children children means like a uh, like a, you can put anything inside so my first widget is going to use as a image so image dot network so here you have to give to the path so let me go to the internet and uh, here i have already uh, put it this image you have to just right click the image you want to put it on your app and copy the image address so that how i have added uh, the this image path and let's see so this image path is coming here so what is the next step uh, in our design uh, let me show you the design so there is a background color here and we want to have some text so how we can get the background color uh, we can put it the, the whole screen with the pink color so that is uh, let's say background color and uh, because this is a very bright color so let me show you i want little bit uh, uh, little bit faint or something so there is a one option with each color you can have the shades so you can have if it is a uh, 200 but it is very little bit uh, uh, is of uh, towards the white shade and if it is more uh, 400 700 it is a darker shade so let me have some uh, some like a 300 or something so i can show you that so see the color is little bit uh, lighter than this color so next thing is Uh, because we have done with the image uh, after the each widget you have to uh, end with the uh, comma and then we will have the text widget so in the text widget a uh, text widget will have the string so you can say let's say happy birthday so let's see what will be the output so see it is coming at the center but it is very small so we would like to give some styling so we we'll have the property of style then it's called the text style widget and in this text style we we'll have the property called font size let's have a 30 maybe 
then font rate let's have a font rate dot you can give the value like you can give the weight different different like a weight 300 weight 400 or maybe you have you want you can put as a bold as well and if you want to change color so you can have the color as well colors dot so if you can see here it is looking like this and this is what you have created a greeting card app if you want to create send some greeting cards with your app you can do this so this is our first app this is a very small and starting to get introduced with the flutter this is a you understand the widget how the app structure so this is our first demo on first app today's session and the second session uh, second app uh, that will cover by the madura uh, so if if you anyone have any question uh, up till now you can please post it on the chat uh, our team will be uh, please uh, will give the answers and let me introduce the madura she is uh, she is from india uh, so madura over to you you can because madura is in india and her uh, in aurangabad and her network is not good at her place so she will talk and i will code so this is how we globally work actually so let's madura over to so, you hi uh, is my voice is uh, audible yes 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 yeah. so hi all hello uh, mr banu sir and hello gadgi sir so taking much more of your time we'll just run towards a profile app So as in the greeting card app, uh, you all come to know about the basic widgets of the Flutter. But now in the profile app, we'll get to know more about some new widgets. So next slide. Yeah. So here, uh, the new widgets you are all going to know about that is circle avatar, icon, divider, and size box. So I'll just uh, give a theoretical introduction of it. And uh, while in the programming, you will get to know you will get to know clear about it. So next slide. So basically, uh, in a simple language, what is circle out there is a profile picture. The profile picture of our WhatsApp or we can say Facebook, Twitter, or our social media's profile picture, where we have used the circle out there. It's it's basically a profile image or any image which gives it the shape uh, shape of circle. It has some kinds of properties, and uh, in it we can declare the network image or asset image. But today we are going to focus on the network image. So, in there, in that syntax, there is given the radius because uh, we are declaring the circle, and the circle has the property of radius. So we'll see that detail in the coding. Next, uh, icon. So we all know what uh, icon means to the symbol. So as in the Flutter, as we are using the material app, which is a predefined class, and it has some of the libraries. So in that libraries, the icon is one of the library. So in this app, we are going to use of icons of telephone and email. Is per as your need. So the new widget is size box. So what is a size box? Uh, we can say it is transparent box, which just gives the space between the two widgets. And uh, in it, we have only used the, or we can only use the height and the width to give the spacing between the two widgets because it's a transparent, so we can't see it. Next. What is a divider? So a thin line with padding on either side. Uh, in our UI, we can use it for a partition. Basically, for a partition or to divide any two widgets, we can use it. So what is padding? Uh, as we can see, there are two boxes, one gray box and one blue box. Uh, in the first image, the uh, blue box is not properly fixed into the gray box. But after using the padding, the blue box has some specified space. So it has, uh, we can arrange the padding by using, by giving 
the padding from the all side or we can give it by a specific side also we'll get to know about in the coding next so as the greeting card app uh, we have also used here abba column and here we also get to know more about the row so now we'll just uh, jump towards our coding Oh, so basically time. what i will do maybe uh, to save the time uh, mm -hmm. i will just start with the uh, new widget like a home page i will create a new new class like a home or something yeah. so that will help it will create a very fast so let's say so will uh, we have less time also so i will just remove the things and i will call the home here okay. so here all yeah so we are going to use this stateless widget and basically a stateless widget means a static page which has no any response or we can't change anything so we'll return the scaffold here which is the structure of our app so as we can see in the ui the scaffold has color and app bar also has the color but it has hidden so first we'll declare our app bar and title So Abba, Abba has the property title into the text. Uh, text will have the profile app. Profile app, and we can give it some styling. Uh, you can play with it with the styling. So as in the earlier app, that uh, for to make the text into the center, we have used the center tile. But here we can also do a one thing. Just we can click the yellow bulb has there, and we can wrap it directly with this center widget. So the text will get the shape. The text will shifted in the center. See. So after the app bar, our scaffold has a color. So scaffold has a property of background color. So we'll declare a background color. So we'll give colors. Dot. so you see so here the abba color is different and scaffold color is different so we'll also declare background color into the abba also yeah so we have declared both the colors but there is a small thin shadow line between the abba and the scaffold so for removing it there is a property in the app bar which is known as elevation equals to 0 we have to put the elevation equals to 0 which means it controls the size of shadow below the app bar so now you can all see that the uh, shadow line has gone so our app bar is done now and we'll move towards our body so as you all can see in the ui our whole data our circle out our text container everything is uh, displayed into a vertical manner which is we are going to firstly use the column so let's say column and the column has children and our first children is our circle out our it has the property of background image network image and into the curly braces we have to put the image address so let take a image so we'll stick this image this copy it We we'll just paste it. We will see. So uh, there is a image, but its size is very small. So we'll give some radius to it. Not radius. Radius equals to let's say sixty. Yeah. Or you can play with it. You can make it. Big or as per your needs. Yeah. 
so but uh, in the ui the circle outer is in the center so same for the column our whole data is in the center so same for the column we'll wrap the column with the center widget we'll just make some small okay just, uh, we'll just make this small radius uh, let's say 80 So after a circle out there, we have the text widgets. We have the two text widgets, the name and the Flutter developer. It's on yours, uh, what you want to push. So we'll do that. So after circle out there, we'll give comma. We'll give, first we'll declare the, both the text widgets. The first text, let's say, let's say, and then now, anything and now we'll give some styling let's say textile and font size we'll have font size let's say 20 we'll give font weight font weight dot bolt and we'll also give the font color. Bold, color, color start, white. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we can make it make it more big. I will just increase some font size, let's say 30. So after this, we'll just copy that text widget and we'll paste again. The comma. Yeah, we'll just copy it and we'll paste. So we'll change something. We'll make it Flutter developer and we'll just uh, decrease some font size. Let's say 25. Yeah. So we have the circle out there and the text widget. But uh, as you all can see, the both are uh, the both three are very close to each other. So for for making the space between them. So we'll use here this size box because it's transparent. We'll not see this size box. We'll only see the space. So after the circle out there, we'll declare a size box. It has the property of height and we'll give 10 or 15 maybe. Okay. And we'll see. See, uh, the space or the gap is increased between the Anna and the circle outer. So same we will do after the Anna first requisite of bit below the Flutter developer. Yeah. So after that, we have a line which uh, we have called that divider. We'll declare that. And after that Flutter developer, we also have to give the size box for the spacing. Size box. Yeah. So size box has the property of child. So by using that property, we'll uh, declare the divider there. Divider. It's a thickness. It has thickness to and the color, but yeah, we first will see the output color start white. Yeah, but uh, it's a whole, it has cover whole the skin, or it has partition, uh, it has divided the both the part, but we don't want that to cover it. 
as we have declared it in the size box and in the size box we we can also use the width so we'll give some uh, some width to it let's say 400 or 300 yeah you can also play with that as you can also increase the thickness or uh, height anything so our first uh, part is over our upper part is over now at the down side we have one icon first of all we have a container which has some specific height or width we have declared in that we have the icon and the text widget or the email or the number so we'll go through it so now we'll declare a container container so for declaring it we have to give it a height and width let's see 30 and the width let's say 350 or 400 we'll give it a color color starch punch so first we'll see the output but uh, it has really close to the flat uh, divider we'll give the padding to the container maybe uh, we'll try the padding so it will give the proper spacing from all the side so yeah the space is there so uh, we can make the container quite big or we have to Based data bit minute. Yeah, so container has a only one child where we can declare a column or row, but here our data is in a vertical manner, so we'll have to declare a row. So is in the horizontal manner we have to declare a row. So row has children. and here we have the two widgets the first is icon it has a property that icons and if we put that icons dot it has many of the icons in built because it is a library in the material lab so our first icon is a phone so it's a phone and we can also give the color to the icon see colors dot white okay teal 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 see you can see the icon we can also play with its size it's upon you well uh, then we'll give a text widget of a number let's see any number okay we can give it some styling we can make it bold it's a style x style and to that we can have a font size let's say 20 and font weight so font weight dot bold so we we'll see the color colors dot so in the output we have the icon and the text or the number but uh, there is no proper spacing between them so we will we will uh, cover them with the padding or we'll wrap both to them with the padding first we'll wrap the icon with padding here not from the all side we'll just give the padding from the left so slightly left and say only wrap to only and into bracket left and say 10 t and for the same text widget or for the number we'll give the same padding
we have only uh, to the left we'll put the 10. see the both the widgets are aligned properly between the container so for the next container what we'll do we'll just uh, close this container We'll just close this row after that container, the padding, and we will just copy all this. This comma, and we'll just paste it below. Yeah. So now in that container row, we'll change the icon first. So we have the email icon. So we'll just uh, write the email, it will automatically come. And into the text, we'll say that anna at the red gmail.com. So, yeah, we have done with the uh, profile app. I hope you have got this, or you can feel free to ask any doubt. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you. So I hope you all understand what we have done up till now. So if you have any question, feel free to ask any question about this. Does anyone have any question related to what we have done up till now or anything related to the flutter? Yeah, I think, uh, Redika, this is really fabulous uh, presentation and the uh, explanation in the demo, actually. So I just want to know now, the, this flutter, yes. is it uh, different than the Android Studio or maybe we can, we can create the mobile app in this and whether this mobile app also can be used in the iPad or only for the mobile app? you can you can use anywhere so basically you can create a app uh, in a flutter flutter is a, a one one you have to need to install one plugin with the android studio so you will get mm -hmm. the all ui kit and then you can develop the app and if you make the app responsive then it will available on everywhere like a mobile tab web anything okay got it understood yeah thank you so, so you can develop the Android app and you can use it on the iOS as well. So, anyway. That's cool. So, Renuka, today's uh, main session, is it over now? Yes. So, we yeah. have done so what I'm saying, we... what I'm saying, I'm going to make the recording available to everybody. Yeah. I'll make it available to everybody uh, in a short time, in about one hour's time, you will get a YouTube link for the, today's recording. And then whatever questions you, anybody has or whatever Further clarification, if anybody needs, that will be um, addressed to tomorrow's meeting. Tomorrow's meeting will get extended literally beyond one hour. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. Am I right? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Should can I, I stop, stop recording now? Can I stop recording? Uh, yes, uh, you can stop. Yeah. Uh, uh, you can stop the recording. And if anyone won't have, we have like a 10 minutes or uh, do we have finished? No, that, that's up to you. That's up to yeah, you. Yeah, if if anyone have any question, we can uh, we can give it. Uh, we have ten minutes. We, so have, we, we can... have ten minutes, so I will yeah. not stop recording now. I will wait. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some people have put some questions uh, in the chat. Just uh, address that. Viraj Rao that said something. So any pointers to use Firebase? Yes, you can do the Firebase integration. Uh, basically, Firebase is also product from the Google and uh, Flutter is also Google. So they have uh, very much uh, uh, inbuilt functions. You can directly connect the Firebase with the Flutter, basically. We can so, yeah, sorry, carry yeah. on. There is a one question how to connect with the backend. Yes, you can connect any backend, like uh, you can use any API to connect with the backend. Uh, so, API integration is also very much easy uh, with compared to the Firebase and all this stuff. So, you can directly use the API and to integrate that. 
We uh, have to say something. Deepak Dose has raised hand. Yeah, yeah. Renuka, can I? Uh, I will not type it. I'll ask the question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you can you integrate uh, JavaScript uh, code into into Flutter? No. Because we have. No. A... no. No, actually, JavaScript is not a part of the Flutter because in a if you know the React, then it will be. But in a Flutter, everything is written in the Dart itself. Okay, fair enough. So if if you have any requirement of the JavaScript, that work is already done by Flutter. So you don't need anything else, third-party library for that. Basically. Right. See the one of the. I think there is one one problem which I'll discuss with you offline. I'll get your number. Yeah. Uh, from from Ravi and we'll discuss with you offline on that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So with that, I take a permission to end the meeting. Tomorrow, everybody join. It is better that we because you know we had stopped um, accepting the applications, thinking that everybody would join. So it is a valuable thing. We must value Renuka's and the team's time also. and uh, be sincere about uh, our inputs also so let's meet tomorrow at the same time only thing is that it will be a little longer uh, duration uh, session and we'll cover everything tomorrow yep. thanks a lot renuka okay. thank you thank you we have i think put it the link for the how to install the flutter and all this stuff please install the flutter try what we have uh, done today discuss, uh, today discuss yeah so try by yourself if you have any question put it on the our discord channel we will help there to find out any solution for your questions yeah. basically yes. correct you. great thank you thank you very much thanks thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.